Welcome back to another Stream Tips video. Today we're going to talk about an important topic, and that is lighting. I mentioned lighting in a previous video, um, but I didn't go over anything in detail. So today we're going to talk about three different ways to light your face, and then we're going to cover some tips on background lighting. If you don't know me, I'm Samurai Jack. I stream over on Twitch three times a week, usually Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 9 p.m. JST. I have been shifting that Saturday stream to Fridays uh, often and may shift to that permanently. Feel free to check me out over at twitch.tv slash Samurai Jack uh, and hopefully you enjoy the content. With that, let's jump right in. I've got a camera down here on the side um, that is there for a simple reason and it's so you can actually see uh, both what's behind me and ahead of me when it comes to lighting um, the biggest thing that I want to talk about is we're going to adjust this light up here so for me I prefer and it's kind of just easy to have this light mounted on top of my DSLR here and so that light is straight on. And so what you see is you get a evenly lit face. But this isn't the only way. This is simple, it works well, there's good clarity. And frankly, I like people being able to see the blue eyes that I've got. I mean, I was told my whole life they were pretty, so I wanna show them off, you know what I mean? And so, but there are other ways we can position this light. So number one is straight on. Now, when it's straight on, you're not getting much contrast on your face. Um, this doesn't have any impact on the contrast for background and, and things like that. But the idea here is a well and evenly lit face. And when you want it to be evenly lit like this, you definitely want it to be straight on in front. So let's switch over to uh, another view and it's going to be a little bit off center. So I've moved the light one foot, which is about 30 centimeters to the left. That's all I did. And the purpose here is to give a little bit of contrast on my face so it's not an evenly lit face. And you can see there's a shadow on the right side of my face here. Now, you don't have to do something like this and you can play around with the positioning, but this is just another way to make the lighting a little bit more interesting while still having quality lighting. So I mentioned we're gonna do a couple of different lighting setups. These first two are the primary two you're probably going to want to worry about. Either having a uh, evenly lit face with a straight on light or offsetting the light a little bit, you know, a foot, maybe a foot and a half left or right of your camera um, to light your face the way you want it to be lit, lit with a little bit of contrast. There are some other ways to light. And what I'm gonna do now is a little bit more of an advanced trick. There's actually a couple of things um, that you have to do. One is I'm going to take this light, which is right here, and you can see it in this camera down in the corner. The light's right here, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to here. Now that is a drastic difference, and you'll notice a huge lighting difference. And please excuse my lighting setup on this one. I'm literally stacking PlayStation boxes and stuff up um, because I don't have another tripod. Uh, so I'm just making this work. But a big part of this is uh, what you'll see is if I just light from the side, it's going to cause it to be a little too dark on the side of my face, but let's check it out. I'll leave the camera rolling for this setup. So now what you can see is there is a harsh contrast between the very bright left side of my face and then the right side of my face. And I'm looking at it in the, the monitor here and you can actually see, even though I've got a monitor here lighting, this contrast is very sharp. Now, you see that reflective thing back there? 
So that has two sides. There's a white side and there's a very reflective silver side. So if you're going to do something like this with a harsh light, I would very much suggest either having a small, low level fill light off to the right, or the second option, which is what I'm going to do, is use something like that to reflect. Now, take a good look at this, and I'll actually maybe throw up a side by side of this so you can see. Let me grab that and we'll take a look. All right, first off, let me just explain something. So this, I'm just gonna hold this like right here. Uh, so the idea here is we're reflecting light. Now for me, what my monitors over here, and so um, optimally, if I were going to set this up, um, what I would want to do is actually flip these, right? I don't have a monitor over here, so I'd want the light on my right side and I'd want the, the reflection coming from the other side. Now, if you have a small, fill light that you can put on this side. You don't have to worry about the reflection. But the idea here is that I want it to be pretty harsh on one side with a little bit of fill because I don't want too much contrast, but I want en enough light to light my face well and fill uh, my face. And so those are three different techniques you can do on your face light. And I'm gonna adjust this back to the normal front facing camera and we're gonna talk about background lighting. So what a lot of people don't understand is that it is important to be able to have contrast between your foreground, which is your face cam, and your background, which is everything behind you. And it's really hard to get a good balance of having a lit background and a lit face while having contrast there. So let me show you guys a difference. So I'm gonna turn on my overhead light and watch what it does to the look and feel, if you will, um, of this entire shot. As you can see, everything is still lit. There, there's no difference aside from the light above, but outside of depth of field, there's not really any contrast between my face and the background. But the reality of it is, it's just not as good as if you did this correctly. Um, and so what I do, as you can see, is I've got some lights on in the background, but there's some different things you can do with this from a positioning standpoint to kind of the look and feel you're going for. And so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna pause for a minute, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you. So one of the things that you can do is have colored lights in the background, which is what I do. It's one of the things that I do, but you can see I've taken the color out. Now, color helps create contrast naturally because you've got like a blue hue or a green hue or maybe even a red hue, something like that in the background. And what you do there is there's a natural contrast between maybe a cool or a warm light that's lighting your face, depending on the feel you're going for. But the key is not that you have colors in the background or white light in the background, or even a cool light in the background. It, that's not the point. The point is that my background is lit, it's visible, but at the same time, there's contrast created between how my face is lit and how the background is lit. And I can even, so I've got, um, you guys can't see it, but I can increase and decrease the amount of light. Now you can see, even with this, you can still see a well-lit background, right? And I can bump this up and make it as well-lit as I want. And you can see that light kind of goes at an angle towards that wall and the couch slash bed that's back there. And then I can turn it down. Now if I wanted this light off entirely, it's still interesting, right? There's still light in the background. Um, it's not... It's not done all that well, but there's still light back there. It's still There's still a contrast between my face and the background, and it's not just black behind me, right? So let me turn that back on and then bump it down to about there. Um, and I can do the same thing with that other light. I can turn down the intensity of the light. I can reposition that light. I can do a lot of stuff. And one of the things, and you can see, this, this is just a little tinted visor. Actually, if I stick it here, you can see. Oh, blue. Now, I don't want to do that for my face. I want my face to look natural. But I can take this and create a different type of contrast. So the key here is you want your subject to be well lit, but you want there to be contrast to your background that also should be lit. Now, you could have fun, be creative, and not have a lit background, or maybe do something crazy with your background. There's tons of things that you can do. You could even put like maybe a light strip around like a poster or have a TV playing a fireplace or like there's tons of stuff you can do with your backgrounds. Um, and obviously this doesn't apply if you have a green screen. But if you're not using a green screen, 
that contrast between your foreground and background, your subject and the things around your subject is important to have an interesting shot. Lighting can be a very complicated subject. And I hope that these few tips have helped simplify things to help you improve the lighting in your stream. And maybe it's not even your stream, maybe it's just videos that you're doing. If it helps you out, please leave a comment, subscribe, like this video, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm curious if you like this content. This was by a request, I appreciate Platinum God Games. You requested in a comment uh, a video talking about lighting. So please let me know if you have requests, you want input, you want tips, or you just want my opinion on something. Uh, let me know and I'm happy to give some of that content. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a great day.